Paul Giannone, known to most as Pauly G, was an unfulfilled IT professional who, at the age of 56, traded in the keyboard and mouse for some dough, fresh toppings, and happiness. Opening a pizzeria in Brooklyn. Oh, I got a long way to go. His two sons were his biggest supporters, helpers, and taste testers throughout the process. Their dad's inspirational example now serves as a key ingredient in their own lives. I'd always tell all my friends that my father, Paulie G, makes the greatest Italian food. So when I heard that he wanted to open up a restaurant, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. For the longest time, my father had always uh, worked so hard just to keep a roof over our head. He went to work every day and it was a grind. I could see it when he came home. I remember uh, one day my dad had this crazy idea to build a pizza oven in our backyard and uh, he brought home bricks and this machine to start cutting the bricks and the first thing that kind of ran through my head was, what's he doing out there? I decided that I was going to open up a pizzeria and I knew that I had, first I had to prove to myself I could make pizza at all. I have all these pictures of stage by stage by stage of the oven. So once I saw him kind of building it, I said, wow, this, this is real. My son called me from the Air Force Academy. He said, how's the oven coming? I said, oh, hey dad, my roommate, he's coming home with me for Thanksgiving and I, I want pizza out of that oven. He threw the challenge down at me. You gotta follow through just like, you know, you've been telling me my whole life. And son of a gun, Thanksgiving Eve, we pulled our first pizza out of that oven. It was ridiculous looking, it looked like an amoeba, but it tasted pretty good. It didn't look great, but it was just like the satisfaction of, you know, kind of seeing my dad's dream come to fruition. He's always been a passionate man about whatever he does, but I've never seen him do it with the fervor that he did it. And I say, you know, he can really do this restaurant thing. and. You know, I'm gonna support him 120% just like he has my whole life. And now you could tell he's just much happier because every day he's doing yeah. what he loves. He's got a passion for life. I've been very lucky to, I feel like, have a little bit of that, you know. I mean, I hope I can be half the man my father is one day. The main thing that it taught me was to uh, just follow your heart and do what you love.